creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I'm uploading a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. So what do I have going on for you for today? Today I am bringing to you, or I'm starting, a new Dollar Tree Cricut DIY series. I just recently got the Cricut Joy that I absolutely love. It is very budget friendly, it's very compact, it's easy to use, it's easy to pull out, it's easy to store. I love everything about this and there are so many things that you can do with the Cricut Joy that you can also do with the larger Cricuts, but you're getting it for a fraction of the cost, which is amazing. And so since I just got one and I love pulling it out because it's so easy to pull out and hook up, I thought that I'd bring to you some of the quick and easy DIYs that I do with it using items from the Dollar Tree. And along with these quick and easy DIYs, I'm also going to be bringing to you a paper crafting DIY that goes along with the items that I picked up from the Dollar Tree that I've DIY'd with my Cricut, if that makes any sense. This is gonna be a fun DIY series because not only am I bringing to you budget-friendly DIYs, but I'm gonna be showing you how great the Cricut Joy is. This is not a sponsored video by any means. This is just me making this video on my own accord. And now that the Joy is out, it's a very budget-friendly alternative and you can get some of the same results doing these DIYs with it. So let's jump this series off. Today's DIY is using these mini candles that you can get from the Dollar Tree. This is quick, easy, budget-friendly, and the outcome is amazing, and it makes for a great budget-friendly gift to give. So let's get to it, and let me show you how easy this is using the Cricut Joy. Alrighty, getting started when unpacking this small but mighty amazing crafting tool. This here is the Cricut Joy. You can see just how compact it is. It is very light easy to store and even better it's easy to set up no fuss no muss when opening up this little gym it is a very basic setup we've got our cutter here which can be replaced by a pen as well so this not only cuts but it does writing as well here is the power indicator light and here on the back is where we plug in the adapter that goes into the wall so just by simply plugging this in then plugging it into the wall, we are just about set and ready to go. You'll see that the light is on, which means our joy is powered up. You're gonna go to your computer to set the Bluetooth up under devices. When you click on devices, you'll see under other devices that your joy will pop up. You just simply click on the joy and it will pair. Getting started with our first project in Cricut Design Space, we're gonna click on the plus, which is gonna take us to a blank canvas. If you go on over to the side and click on insert image, when you click on that, it's gonna bring you to a search. You can search for any image you'd like. If you're subscribed to Cricut Design Space for, I believe it's $9.99 a month, it gives you unlimited access to all the fonts and images that are available. There are thousands of them. And so because I'm going with a friends theme for this DIY, I'm gonna look up some fun friend, I guess, images and fonts. When I click on the ones I like, you'll see here at the bottom that there are these three dots. Those are the ones that will be inserted onto the blank canvas. So just by clicking insert and continue, it's gonna take us back to our canvas where the images that we chose appear. And just by clicking on the double arrow there, you can make your images however large or small as you want. Once you've got your images set to side, you're gonna click over here on layers and colors and you can drag your images up to the same color. Because I'm using a black vinyl, there's no sense in having three separate colors. I'm gonna go ahead and click make it. And because I am using the joy, it automatically comes up and you will see that our three images are here on the mat and you can very easily move your images around just by clicking on the image itself and you can separate them a bit more if you like. Go ahead to the bottom here, click make it. We're gonna click 
our material. I'm using a premium vinyl. If you're using a different material, you can click on popular and actually search for your material because there are thousands of them. The vinyl that I'm using today is one that you can get on Amazon for about $19.99. This is a huge roll of a black matte vinyl. I find that it is a lot cheaper to buy a huge roll like this rather than buy a brand name vinyl at any of the craft stores. And because I seem to use black, white, and red so often, I buy them in bulk so I can get more for my money. I'm gonna go ahead and take my vinyl. I'm gonna cut it to size. And the mat that we're using today is, I wanna say a four by eight mat. And so once I've cut a piece of vinyl the size of my mat, I'm gonna place the vinyl on the mat, insert it into my joy. Once I've loaded it, it's gonna prompt me on the screen to click finish loading and to go ahead and cut here at the bottom. Once I click go, it's gonna to load to my Cricut Joy and you will see that uh, the Cricut Joy is doing what it does and it's going to cut our images. You can see here that my friend's images are all cut out, which is amazing using this small but mighty crafting tool that I am just loving. Now it's time to weed. Weeding means that you're taking off the excess vinyl that is around your image that your Cricut just cut. And so just by using a poking tool that you can get at the Dollar Tree, they've got a piercing and scoring tool that comes in a two pack for a dollar, you can't beat it. You're gonna go ahead and just kind of lift up that excess vinyl and gently remove it. Because I'm doing three separate DIYs, once I'm done weeding them, I am gonna cut and separate my images because one, it makes it easier to adhere onto your project and two, you're gonna use less transfer paper. For today's DIY, I will be using these miniature candles from, you guessed it, the Dollar Tree. These are by Luminescence. These are a small but mighty smelling candle, kind of small and mighty like the Cricut. To personalize these though, we need to remove the label and it could be a bit pesky. But if you just stick your candle in a bowl of warm water for about 10 minutes, you can go ahead and peel that label off so easily and there is no adhesive residue left. Look at that, easy peasy. The transfer paper that I will be using today to transfer my vinyl onto these candles, I also got off of Amazon. This was a huge roll and I've had this for over two years. I tell you, it was worth the money because I saved money by buying such a big roll and it's lasted me. I've cut a piece just a bit bigger than the image itself that I'm going to be adhering onto the candles. I'm going to place the transfer tape face down, sticky side down onto my image and just using a scraper tool or a credit card, I'm going to go ahead and just rub over that which is then going to put the vinyl onto the transfer tape, then you can easily remove the paper back and your image is ready to adhere onto our candles. So I'm gonna go ahead and place my image onto my candle. Then again, taking my scraper tool, I'm just gonna rub over that, really getting it down onto that glass. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just peel away the transfer tape or paper. Did I say transfer tape, transfer paper? Who knows, it is what it is, transfer tape paper. When peeling off that transfer paper, you wanna do it slow because from time to time, the vinyl will stick to the transfer paper. And in that case, you're just gonna to wanna to go back over it with your scraper and you should be good. In my case, I got lucky today. And so I'm gonna do three of Dollar Tree's candles with these three sayings that we put into Cricut Design Space. I think that this is such a fun, easy way to gift these candles. It's meaningful. It's putting a homemade, handmade touch onto something that is very inexpensive, but that you can dress up and anybody would love to receive, especially because you put that homemade, handmade element into it. And so with these, you can do this with just about any candle. That's what's great about it. I just really like gifting these because these small candles really can be put on a desk. They can put on a be put on a side table. They really are just a very versatile candle and who doesn't love to receive candles? Now, like I always say, this next step is optional, but because I'm a twine girl and I feel like twine dresses everything up, I'm gonna add some twine to the neck of this candle just to kind of shush it up a bit, rustic it up a bit, cause why not? 
If you want to add ribbon, you could add ribbon. If you wanted to add a baker's twine, you could add a baker's twine. If you don't want to add anything, don't add anything. I love twine. Who doesn't love twine? So I'm going to add twine to all three of these. And because I'm me, I have to finish this off with a twine bow or a twine flower. If twine isn't for you and you use a ribbon, you can finish it off with a flower. Endless possibilities when doing these and just simple things dress these candles up. Now, how fun is this? Three adorable candles from the Taller Tree that we just personalized using our new Cricut Joy or any other Cricut that you have. Pull that Cricut out of the box or out of the closet and get to using it because there are so many DIYs that you can do with these machines. I think that this Cricut Joy is a great little machine and I love it. How fun are these candles? These are a great scented candle from the Dollar Tree and when you buy three of them and you DIY them using the vinyl and cutting it out with the Cricut, you get an amazing gift, a personalized gift. You'll wanna stay tuned where I bring to you a paper crafting packaging idea for these candles that just takes gifting these candles to a whole new level because these packaging ideas that I bring to you, I think that it just adds that homemade, handmade touch on them that people absolutely love when they receive a gift. I hope you all enjoyed today's Dollar Tree Cricut DIY, and if you like this series and you wanna see more of it, make sure to leave me a comment in the comments below because I go off of your feedback. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to, you guessed it, 5,000 likes because like I always say, and I know I sound like a broken record, but each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive and bye for now, everybody.